Hello everyone, it's Robin here, and happy summer! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited summer is here. I'll probably be saying that all week. So in today's video, I'll be putting together another planner that has a July start, and I'm super excited about this because we'll be putting together the Seasonal Whimsy Classic Vertical Planner, and oh my gosh, I love her so much! So when Happy Planner did their spring release, I saw her on there with all her seasonal vibes, and Happy Planner, you have me at seasonal vibes always, and I had to have her. Well, I was going to use her as my catch-all, but if you've been around my channel for any time recently, you saw that I've been changing over to a big, and I'm loving using the big for my catch-all, and I really want to find a reason to use her, and I think I found one. So today, we'll be setting up this planner as my creative journal, and I'm super excited about that because I have a lot of fun ideas for it. So let's flip the camera down and just get her set up. This planner is so beautiful and so fun. I absolutely love it. So it says, one happy year. And this is a really beautiful blue uh, foiling, which is kind of like the blue I like. I don't know if you can tell the foiling, maybe like that. And you're seeing lights and foil and everything. But um, it is really pretty. But I love it because it is seasonal. Look at how much fun that is. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. So I've done a flip through of this planner. I'll link that down below in case you missed it. But uh, you'll see a few of the dividers as we go through this. I'll be building this planner for six months, which is what I've been doing with all of my July planners this month. I've been um, just building them for the next six months to get us through the end of 2023. And then next year, I'll have, you know, some more planner pieces here to put together for 2024. But you know what? That's 2024 Robin. Right now we're at 2023 Robin and we're going to do six months. So I'm excited about this new idea of a creative journal. And that's exactly what this is going to be. I'm also going to make it very seasonal, which is, is pretty appropriate for this one happy year planner I have going on here. I have a few pieces around here. Um, I will be putting my name in. These are the custom name stickers that I have on my Etsy shop at Oh Hello Robin. So these are the clear. Um, I do also have it in white, so you can choose either or. And we'll be placing these in this planner. I have some discs here. I will be changing the cover out. I love this cover, it's beautiful, but I really fell in love with this cover too, which is from a Happy Notes. And it's, you know, it's got the leaves. It's very tropical and summery. And I think with my creative journal, since it's going to be seasonal, I'm gonna change out the covers probably each season. These are the discs I'm gonna put with it. Aren't they gorgeous? Check them out. These are some beautiful pastel green discs. I absolutely love them. They're metal discs, and I think they might have come with that entire line. I think it was a year ago, the Sage line, or maybe two years ago, where, where this came from. I think this is gonna look nice with us, right? Ugh, love it. So I think these discs will work really well with this cover. Okay, so I have some other items. I went into my stash of Planny Thing decorative papers, and these are so pretty. So I've been collecting these over the years, and I'm going to put some of these to use. And I have them in some very seasonal colors. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I will link the Planny Thing shop down below for you. These came in, uh, she used to do subscription boxes. She doesn't do that anymore, but she is doing sticker books now, and you might be interested in that. So I will uh, put a link down to her shop below because uh, she's fabulous. And I have some filler paper here. This is just dot grid. I have some top tabs and side tabs here, which I will go into. And my pocket folders came in. Oh my gosh, this is the playful tile design. There's six different pocket folders in here and I'll be using one of these in the back. So these are all of my supplies. Let's get started. First things first, I wanna go ahead and put the discs on these covers so we can la lay our foundation down. And again, I have nine of these metal discs. This is a classic size, so nine will work. And we are just going to put them in. The easiest way I have found is to put the two together and just roll them in. And it seems to work out pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. 
Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty, and I love the inside of this too. Oh, so pretty. Okay, let's pull in our planner. So there's 18 months in here, so she is quite chunky to start with. And this is a classic vertical planner. And again, she's seasonal. I'm not gonna put all the pages of the six months in because I want this to be more of a creative journal. So we're only gonna pull in portions of it. And um, hopefully this will you know, be clear as we go along. So let's let's see what we're gonna pull in first. Look at the inside of that too, isn't that cute? Oh, such a cute planner, such a cute planner. So the inside of it has the name page. We do want that. I do want the calendar and I, I will be pulling these in. So let me just go ahead and pull that in to begin with. Just like so. Okay, and before we move forward. I'm going to put my name in here because we're right here and it says, hello, this happy planner belongs to, and I'm going to put my name. So the name page here comes in three different sizes. So I have a larger, a medium, and a smaller size. This is a classic. I'm going to go with the medium size because I think that will look nice in here. And this is on a clear, so it'll blend into this pinky blushy background going on on the sheet. And we put it just like so. Gorgeous. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so here's where we're going to start getting creative. So I said I want this section in here because I also, I need the currently section. Well, let me pull out this whole first month and we'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, let me set this aside. I want to section this off into seasons. And I might need to do that first so this does make sense. So let me grab my dividers. I have some of these top tab dividers and there are four in here, which will be perfect. Let me pull these out. Um, I'll put a link down below. I picked these up. I have had sets from both Amazon and Etsy. I'll put both links below. I think these came from Amazon and they're punched for the Happy Planner the disc, so. They're uh, the Frosted Clear. And we're gonna put one of these right here. Actually, I'm gonna put the second one in and you'll see, you'll see why here in a second. I'm gonna put the second tab over because it's summer. Because I do want it to go spring, summer, fall, winter. But I'm gonna be moving the season up front, um, you know, to, to the season that it is. So the front right now will be Summer, okay. I'm gonna take this page off of here. This is where it's going to get interesting. Because when you start separating the months because they are connected to each other, they don't separate it like you might think. <laughs> because there, there'll be something on both sides. So right now I have the perpetual calendar or the future log calendar kind of in the front here. But what I will be using is this currently page, which is super cute. I will be using this monthly view because I what I wanna do is uh, do a daily um, highlight in here and I'll, I'll bring you along with some of that too. And I want to use some of this, but I don't wanna use all of this. So what I'm going to do is take out this entire middle section. I'm gonna save these vertical pages and we have dates that don't match but what I'm going to do is do a, a, a regular plan with me like I would for a week I'm gonna cover all the dates and this is gonna be journaling pages for a month that way it alleviates some pressure to find something to journal every single day especially since I want to do this but I still have some monthly journaling and then if I want to, and as I get going, I can add sheets in between and it'll be fine. It'll work, it'll work. So I'll end up covering that and I'll bring you along with the first plan with me. So don't worry about that, that will happen. Because I, I kept this page because I want this. So this is still summer, so let's pull in August. So I have all of August here. So we're gonna pull this in. Look at the cover, oh my gosh. This divider with the citrus. Oh, is that pink grapefruit or an orange? I mean, it's pink, but it's an orange. It's fun, it's fabulous. I love these colors together. So I want this intact, right? 
and I want this page and I want this page but this is fall so I'm gonna take this page here and I'm gonna keep this page this will make sense in a second and I take this out okay this page is part of summer and fall is gonna start here so I need my third tab over this is my third tab for fall. And then when I put these in, I'll have this right here. Okay, so let's go back to this a moment so we don't get overly confused with the situation. Okay, so my first tab is summer. And when I pull the tab open, I have this page. So I wanna cover this with a piece of um, just that dot grid paper I have. And I have it right here. So this is, you know, fairly plain dot grid paper. I love dot grid. It's fun to uh, doodle on and all kinds of things. It has the speckles on the side. I actually pulled this from some guided journals and it's plain on both sides. I'm gonna connect this with this page right here. And that means I am losing part of my future log, but I'm okay with that because this is how I wanna do this planner. And I'm going to tape runner this to this you know I've seen people do it this way but I'm just I prefer taking it out <laughs> so I'm gonna take it out and do it okay so let me move this a little bit right here and I'm gonna tape runner on close to the edges okay and I'm gonna line this up I like to do it by standing them up like this together and kind of lining it up this way. And there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this page in. So now the front of this section has a blank page that I can decorate at a later point since it's a creative journal, right? And then when you open this, it goes straight into my currently and whatnot. Now we get to my last page and it's one of these calendar pages. I'm gonna do the same thing to this page. So I'm going to do my tape runner again. I'm gonna kind of line them up together. and then put this in here. Okay, so here's what I have here. So when you open Summer, this is a blank page. I have my first, currently my month, a section that I'm going to decorate and I go right into another currently. I have August. A section that I'll decorate taking the dates off and then that goes into the blank page because now we get into fall and I'm gonna do the same thing with these pages so let me go ahead and do this page Whew, okay I had a little bit of trouble with this September page so um, just piecing them together around the holes I think that's what I'll do next is I'll line the holes up first but but all's good, we salvaged the situation. So I'm going to put this September in here and I'm gonna put all of fall in here and then I'll pull things out and um, then hopefully you can see what I'm doing there too. So we're gonna put September in and then October. These dividers are so cute. Oh my gosh, spooky season, loving it. And then we have November, okay. So we're gonna do winter next. So let me put this tab in for winter so that we have this placer here. And right off the bat, I know this needs to be in winter, so I'm gonna pull this out right here 
We'll fix that in just a moment. And I have this sheet off the side here, so I'll pull that in a second too. Okay, moving forward. And then we're gonna make this spring. And, um, okay, so let's go back. Well, let me just pull this in. Then we have everything in. So winter, we need the December. Okay, so I'm only going to the end of the year. So I'm only going to December. So we have this for January next year, but because Okay, well, I'll figure that out when we get to it. Okay, let me go ahead and pull pages out that we need to pull out. So this is our, okay, here's our fall. So we have our currently page. We have our calendar page. So I want to keep this page. And I want to keep this currently page. So I'm going to pull these pages out set them aside and I'll plan for one month a, a vertical plan with me for one month of creative fun then for October we have that page we have this page November is still in fall so I want that page so I'm gonna pull these out so far so good right so November we have currently we have this calendar section we have this first page, and then I'm gonna keep, oh, I have this last page right here. Because I had started putting tape on it and my tape runner was running out. So let me go get another tape runner because I did start doing that and it went out. I'll be right back. Okay, here's another tape runner and let's continue this. Okay, this time I'm gonna line the holes up this way. You know, doing it on the rings, like people have been showing, might be the way to do it. But I'm gonna line the holes up here, and then I'm gonna lay it down. Perfect. Oh, actually that was easy. Okay, that was easy. So this will go right here. And this will be the back page right before we go into winter. And here is winter, and I will need to cover this one as well. So let's do that. Okay, here we have for December. Okay, I went ahead and uh, the last page of December, I took this page out and covered a blank page because I don't know what I want to do for next year yet. And I want to make sure I keep this currently page with this planner. So I'm going to put this back here for right now and we're going to set her aside. And we're going to continue on here. And yeah, so what I want to do is label these tops and I want to put some deco there so we can see the season. So I have these sheets, like I said, from Planny Thing. They're really cute cardstock. I just need to punch them. Let me grab a punch and my labels. Okay, I have my Happy Planner punch here. And I'm going to do one at a time. Just slide them in and punch them. These are so pretty. And I picked one that was spring for each season. So this would be summer. I love all these sunny glasses. It's so cute. And look at the fall one. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those fun colors. Love this. So let's just put that. And I wanted winter to be more winter and not Christmas for this planner. So I thought this one looked nice too. Okay, let's set this aside. And now we have all of these ready to go in. And I have some labels too that we'll be putting in that say spring, summer, winter, and fall. So let's work on this. So. I have summer in the front because it's summer. So I'm gonna take this off to put the label on. And it's a very easy, I use, uh, is this is the same label maker I used in um, my last video. And you just put it right here, right up at the top. 
and it says summer. So it's the, I use the Dymo Letra Tag, really easy to use, really fun. Comes in handy too. So this is summer. And while I may decorate this page, um, I don't have to do everything today because it's a creative journal. I may do it throughout the year. So I'm gonna put this in for right now to be my cover. Now these are double-sided, so I have a beach scene on the other side too, which is really cool. So next we're gonna get into fall. And we're gonna put this fall label in and just set it right up here. Put that back in. And I will grab my fall paper right here. Super fun. And the other side has some fall florals, which is very cool. Next, we have our winter. So let me pull my winter tab and put it right here. Just like so, put that back in. And a really cool winter, it says, let it snow, happy winter, stay warm, winter time. Love this. And the other side of this has a beautiful house with a deer, so cute. And then this is spring, uh, which I know I don't have the planner because I st I'm starting it in summer, but I wanted all the seasons in here. And I do have something I can put back here for now. And who knows if I love doing this, this may become an annual thing, right? So I want spring in here. Now, as again, as I finish a season, I'll move that season to the back so that the current season is always the season up front. So we have spring there and look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That purple. I love that. Like those purple, like violety type flowers. And then we have some purple flowers here. Okay. I'll be putting something back here soon, but I want to do something else first because this isn't all I plan on doing. So this back section is gonna house all of my seasons and we will do a flip through at the end. But my front section is gonna house some of those extra pages that I like to make um, because I, I think I wanna keep them here in my classic because some of those extra pages I make are really kind of memory keeping like pages. So here's my planner um, that I had and I'm gonna to go to the spring section. So for example, this page. So I made this movie tracker and I want to keep that in here. So I want to keep that, I think, like I said, more in my classic vertical than my big, because my big is really, um, while there is a little bit of memory keeping going on with my weekly plans, it's really mostly my to-do list and whatnot. And I want this to house all of the fun things. So we are going to put this in here, this tracker. And also I have my spring vibes bucket list that I had made. So let me pull this out because this is what I'll be putting in that back section for spring. So let me hold this aside and move this aside. And this is where I'm going to pull in those other dividers. So these are some side dividers. So in the front of my planner, I'm gonna have some side dividers and we'll do the top one here just like so. Actually, before I do that, let me label it. This is my fun divider. This is my fun section. It's all the fun stuff. So um, this is where I'm going to put any kind of trackers and that type of thing that I have. So here's all, this is where the fun goes, right? And a movie tracker is fun. So if you missed this video, I'll link this video down below too. It's been really fun keeping track of the movies. So these are all the 2023 20, releases that Rod and I are watching, whether at the theater or at uh, streaming services, but they're all the big releases coming out. So it's really fun to keep track of. And I'll, how's that there? And I'll be creating more as we go through summer. If I didn't do a whole reading journal, I would probably have a reading section in here too. But I have a whole reading journal, so we're gonna keep that there. So now I'm gonna go back to spring real quick. And this is where I'm going to put this bucket list. Um, the spring vibes bucket list was really fun. I'll be putting one together for summer. That will be Thursday's video, so that'll be fun. So I'll have this back here to keep. 
um, as memories for what happened in the spring this year. So that's my spring section. Okay, so let me see what I have here. We have some fun up here. Again, we're gonna be making some more down the row, but then after that, we have all of our seasons. Um, yeah, this looks like fun. Oh, let me put my pocket folder in. These are so pretty. I love this playful tiles design so much. It's one of my favorite designs that Happy Planner has made and they're just so pretty. This is going to go at the back of my planner and I'm trying to figure out, this one says, always find a reason to smile, fall in love with today, radiate positive vibes, be the reason someone smiles today. I love this one. I like this one too. I might do this one. I'm feeling very, um, although the, the, well, this color match, I'm going to be changing the rings out each season. So I guess it doesn't matter. Right. But a pocket folder comes in handy, uh, to hold on to sticker sheets, loose sticker sheets that, that I may have. And that's what I'll do. So for example, these fit in here just perfectly. Also some happy planner sticker sheets would fit in there too. Okay, so we're gonna put that one in there for right now. Nice, and let's, let's do a little flip through and see if we got everything in here. So she's not too, too full, but she's full enough. So I like that, I like that a lot. I think this is gorgeous. It says, go where your dreams take you. So fun. I'm really excited about this idea of this creative journal, just housing a lot of memories and that type of thing. So this happy planner belongs to Robin, super fun. And here's the uh, calendar going on here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take these pages out because it's, I'm doing this for 2023. I don't need, I don't think I'll be using the perpetual calendar. I'm gonna put this back in the other planner. Okay, now we have to start over again. <laughs> to get the full effect. I promise I won't keep doing that. Okay, here we go. Hello, this happy planner belongs to Robin. And here is the calendar if I need to look at some things and it moves right into some fun. And we have their cinema going right off at the bat. And uh, this is fun. I'll be hopefully making other pages to put in here because that will be great, but I will make other sections. I have another one that will be coming up uh, in July for sure. Summer, look, so we have summer. We have our summer vibes going on with our sunnies. Aren't they cute? Love them. And I can decorate this page as part of my journaling, which could be fun. And we have our currently page for July. Um, I will be doing something with all these pages that I put in here. So I will probably be doing uh, highlights of the month maybe or memories of the month or things of that nature uh, I think I'm going to keep my currently words to my big planner so we'll probably do that here I'll be doing a highlight of a day in here and I will bring you along with some of that and then here I'm going to decorate this as a weekly spread but I'm going to take all the dates off because I'll be using it as a journal but for a month so I can write in it all month long and if I want to add extra pages I can just put them in the center and it'll be fine and then we move right into August and do the same thing. So here we have August monthly. This is what I'll decorate without the dates. And then it ends on a blank page because we go right into fall. So I hope that makes sense here. This is gorgeous. We have some fall colors here. Again, I can decorate this, make a title page for fall, and boom, we have all of our fall vibes. This planner is really pretty. I love this planner so much. Um, all of these seasonal vibes are gonna be fun. I love the decor in the center here with these flowers. And then here we have October, we have stars and we have spiders going on this whole spooky season. Yes, thank you. And the stars, I love all of this going on in this planner. And then we'll be decorating this for a monthly uh, journaling situation. And then we'll be using this for our highlights of the month or memories of the month. I'll figure that out by then for sure. But that's where my head is going right now. And then there we go for our journaling. And then our last page is blank and we go right into winter. And again, I wanted it to be just winter and not Christmas uh, because uh, winter is, is a lot of things, right? And I think this blue color is really pretty. And so is that house and that deer. And here we have December, how exciting. Feeling merry and bright, yes I am, thank you very much. 
And here we have December, our page that we'll be journaling on for the month. We have another page to decorate, and then we go into spring, and here's our cover, and here's our spring vibes bucket list. So this will be a place that will house all these pages that I've made this year that are also kind of memory keeping. So super fun. And then the best looking pocket folder that ever existed. Yes. And here we go. Okay, I am super excited about this because I think this is something that will be fun to play with something that'll be great for housing memories and all those fun pages I like to make and not too, not stressful. I don't want anything stressful. I want my creative journal to be fun. I don't want it to be something that I feel like I have to get done, but um, I'm excited about this. So I have one more planner that I'll be putting together this month that will be next Tuesday and that will be kind of my budget uh, home project planner and I'm looking forward to that as well. Are you using any of the new planners that are coming out and starting in July? Let me know down below. I would love to hear from you and I would also like to know if you're using any type of creative journal because I would love some ideas. That's what's fun about it. It's creative. It can be anything you want. So let me know down below what you do. Um, again, I would love to hear from you and thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!